let's get into the meat of the matter question number one a country is said to have food security when it can a feed most of its population b provide a protein rich diet for everyone c secure food for everyone during periods of natural disasters d provide safe and nutritionally balanced food for everyone at all times the answer is d provide safe and nutritionally balanced food for everyone at all times food security here doesn't mean having a security guard watching the food question number two which of the following is the most likely reason for the prolification of radial larceny in the caribbean a the fines are too small b there are no laws against it c it is difficult to catch the person committing the act d vendors do not have to show origin of farm produce the answer is c it is difficult to catch the persons committing the act question number three which of the following can be considered rules of agriculture in the economy of caribbean territories one contributing to gdp two reducing the regional food import bill three securing foreign exchange a one and two only b one and three only c two and three only d one two and three the answer is d one two and three now of course gdp means the production of goods within a country and of course agriculture contributed to the total production in our country or of a country the difference between gross domestic product and gross national product is that gross national product speaks about foreign exchange earnings along with the production and consumption of goods within a country while gross domestic product only speaks about the production and consumption of goods within a country question number four a bioterrorism attack on agriculture may result in one an increase in food prices two destruction of ecological habitats three destabilization of a system of food security a one and two only b one and three only c two and three only d one two and three the best answer is one two and three of course bioterrorism means the intentional use of microorganisms to attack plants and animals so of course microbes will be used to destroy plants and animals so the best answer is d question number five which of the following is not considered a good agricultural practice a slash and burn b aerobic composting c cleaning and sanitizing d high temperature treatment the best answer is a slash and burn of course a slash and burn method will destroy the environment and the good agricultural practices they involve the preservation of the environment so of course slash and burn will destroy the organic matter of the soil it, this practice will also destroy, destroy microbes microorganisms and other organisms that live in the soil question number six which of the following are benefits of organic farming one biodiversity two income to farmers three ecological balance a one and two only b one and three only c two and three only d one two and three the best answer is d one two and three of course organic farming involves the use of certain principles such as biological pest control cultural practices such as crop rotation etc so of course the li life will be preserved different life the and the environment will be preserved using this method question number seven which of the following is most likely associated with crops grown in wet climatic conditions a plants are hardier than usual b irrigation is usually a major concern c yield per acre is usually higher than normal d disease and pest outbreaks are usually high the answer is d disease and pest outbreaks are usually high especially the the fungal diseases fungal diseases need moisture and the wet condition to survive so you have disease like root rot for example question number eight farm record keeping is important because it a allows for large farm profits b minimizes workload on the farm c provides information to analyze farm businesses d reduces the number of farm transaction the best answer is c provides information to analyze farm businesses the information is the record so the type of record you keep depend dep will depend upon the type of information you store and of course keeping means how you store the information 
whether in a, a laptop, in a book, etc. Question number nine. Legumes are especially important on organic farm, crop farms because legumes A. are easy to cultivate, B. provide a good coverage, C. promote nitrogen fixation, and B. have a high market demand. The answer is C. promote nitrogen fixation. Of course, all legume plants, they have root nodules whereby certain bacteria live in. For example, the nitrogen fixing bacteria, rhizomium. Now, that bacteria has the ability to convert nitrogen gas directly to nitrates. Now, nitrates are basically used by the plants to make protein. Now, the plant don't take in nitrogen as a gas. It takes it in as a solid, which is called a nitrates. Question number 10, 11, and 12. Items 10 to 12 refers to the following budgeting terms. A. Gross farm income. B. Net farm income. C. Gross margin. D. Expenditure. Match each item below with one of the options above. Each option may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Number 10. This is the amount of money left after all deductions are made. The answer is B. Net farm income. Number 11. This is the total income minus total variable expenditure. The answer is C. Gross margin. Of course, the gross margin will tell you how profitable the business is. However, please note that the, the fixed expenditure is not deducted from the, in the total income in this case. Question number 12. This is the amount of money received before any deductions are made. The answer is A. Gross farm income. And those it, expenditures would also involve your tax, your NHT contributions pensions etc question number 13 which of the following summarizes the principles of the economic partnership agreement epa a protection of the european union eu trade markets b global integration for african caribbean and pacific countries acp c reciprocal trade between acp countries and the eu d free movement of skilled workers in caricom member states the answer is B, Global Integration for African, Caribbean, and Pacific Countries. Question number 14. Which of the following is not true of, of a complete budget? A, provides an estimate of net farm income. B, provides an estimate of expenditure. C, contains only some items of income and expenditure. D, can be com used to compare profitability of other farm plans. The answer is C, contains only some items of income and expenditure. Of course, the other options, all of them are true about the complete budget. Question number 15. Item 15 refers to the following graph of a demand and supply curve. During Lent, people demanded more fish than any other meat. This is represented by a shift from A, D to D1, B, D1 to D, C, S1 to S, D, F, E1 to E. The answer is A, D to D1. From this diagram, basically, it can be seen that D and D1, those are the demand curve. And of course, the demand curve, they always run in this direction. And that is because of a law. The lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded. However, I want you, based on the question, I want to show you now that the answer is A, which is demand increases. So I'm going to use an example to illustrate that answer. So this is the original demand curve. And as we said, there's an increase in demand. So, so, yeah, so on this axis, we have the price. Say, so let us use $10. $20, dollars $40, $40, $50, $60, and the y-axis. Now, for the quantity demanded, let us use pounds. So here we have one pound of fish, two pounds of fish, three pounds of fish, four pounds of fish, five pounds of fish, six, seven pounds of fish. Now I'm basically going to demonstrate to you now that 
the price move increase from D to D1. So of course uh, here, let's just use the equilibrium points. So on the demand curve here, price is about $31. Right here it's about $31. And the quantity bought at that price was three and a half pounds of fish. Three and a half pounds of fish, right? Say the demand curve shift to D1. So let us look at the price and quantity demanded at that price at D1. So this is the, the new equilibrium price. Say $45. Quantity demanded at forty-five dollars here is say five and a quarter pounds. So what this curve has shown you now is that the quantity demanded moves from three point five to five and a quarter pounds of fish. Alright, so that is how we come at the answer D to D1. Question number 16. A business owned and controlled by farmers who use it to create surplus earnings that are divided among members is best described as A. A farmer's club B. An agricultural bank C. An agricultural cooperative D. An agricultural corporation The answer is D. An agricultural corporation of course, surplus means profit. So if the, the group is, if it comes together to, to make a profit intentionally, then that's a corporation. If it comes together not to make a profit, but have other benefits, then that would be a cooperative. Question number 17. Interest, depreciation, insurance, and taxes are all examples of A, capital B, fixed costs, C. Variable cost. D. Actual income. The answer is B. Fixed cost. The interest, depreciation, insurance, all those expenses, they are fixed. Meaning that once there is an agreement, for example a loan, the interest would remain the same until the life of that loan. Depreciation, the value of items will go down on a percentage basis and so it will be fixed as well. So those agreements like tax, insurance, depreciation, interest, they are all fixed costs. They are in some form of agreement and they do not change in the level of production. Question number 18. The government of a Caribbean country provides farmers with a rebate of 25% of the purchase price of agricultural equipment. Which of the following terms describes this arrangement? A. Tax. B. Subsidy. C. Insurance. D. Price support. The answer is D. Price support. Of course, the rebate of 25% means the government reduced the, the cost price of the equipment. So when those farmers would purchase those equipment, they will purchase them cheaper than usual. The government normally offers three main types of incentives to farmers. Reduction of tax, so subsidy, and price support. The reduction of tax would mean reduce in the, the tax. Um, of course, Subsidy would mean giving the farmers money to purchase items or they would purchase the items or the inputs for the farmers themselves. Question number 19. Fixed capital describes inputs such as A. Feed, chemical and cash. B. Tractors, sprayers and seeds. C. Buildings, machines and land. D. Labor management tools. The answer is C. Building, machines and land. Remember that fixed capitals are not used up or converted into the product or in the level of production. Question number 20. Which of the following is considered a conventional farming system? A. Aquaponics. B. Hydroponics. C. Trough culture. D. Contour farming. The answer is D. Contour farming. Of course, conventional farming methods normally uses a lot of land space and a lot of plowing of the soil and removal of plants etc 
Question number 21. A mixed fertilizer of grade 15, 35, 10 contains 60% plant nutrients. The other 40% of the, new, the fertilizer is referred to as A. Side dressing B. Top dressing C. Granules D. Carrier. The answer is D. Carrier. Of course, the carriers are present in the fertilizer in order to preserve the fertilizer. In other words, to prevent the fertilizer nutrients from clogging up together or sticking together. Question number 22. Which of the following soil organisms is capable of converting atmospheric nitrogen to nitrates? A. Fungi. B. Viruses. C. Bacteria. D. Protozoa. The answer is C. Bacteria. And an example of that bacteria is the rhizombium, which is a nitrogen-fixing bacteria that live in, into the roots of legume plants. Question 23. Which of the following structures is responsible for the increase in growth of plant stems? A. Cambium. B. Phloem. C. Xylem. D. Cortex. The answer is A. The cambium. Of course, the cambium is located between the phloem and xylem vessels, but it is also responsible for the growth of the plant stem. Question number 24. In a germinating seed, which structure emerges first? A. Plumule. B. Radical. C. Epicotyl. D. Cotyledon. The answer is B, radical. Of course, the radical will turn into the root. The epicotyl, it's a part of the plumule, and the plumule turns into the shoot system of the plant. Question number 25. Translocation in plants refers to the A, transport of organic and inorganic substances, B, combustion of organic compounds, C, absorption of certain ions, D. Movement of water. The answer is A. Transport of organic and inorganic substances. Of course, translocation, this process normally takes place in the plant. It's any movement that takes place in the plant. And it means movement of anything, both organic and inorganic substance. Movement of water, nutrients, proteins, ions, etc. Question number 26. The most water-conserving system of irrigating crops in the Caribbean is... A. A. Flood. B. Drip. C. Sprinkler. D. Subsurface. The answer is B. Drip. The drip is the irrigating system that will save most water or prevent most water from wasting. Question number 27. Which of the following is most likely to occur when crops are grown in an area with high relative humidity? A. An increased incident of fungal diseases. B. An increase in the rate of transpiration. C. The drying out of the surface of the soil, D, reduce risk of fungal diseases. The answer is A, an increased incident of fungal diseases. Of course, high relative humidity means there's a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. So, of course, if you have a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, the plants will not be able to release a lot of moisture or water from the plant. And, of course, fungal diseases need a lot of moisture to reproduce. Question 28. Which of the following is not a benefit of farm mechanization? A. Farm operations performed on time. B. Better yield and quality of produce. C. Improved standard of living for rural farmers. D. Increased losses in crop handling. The answer is D. Increased losses in crop handling. Farm mechanization involve, involves the use of machines on the farm. And of course, machines can destroy a lot of produce. And that's bad. Question number 29. Which of the following weed control methods is considered to be biological? A. Mulching with organic material. B. Spraying with a contact weedicide. C. Application of a synthetic herbicide. D. Introduction to Introduction of parasites to feed on weeds. The answer is D. Introduction of parasites to feed on weeds. Of course, biological means living. So it is the use of one living thing to control another thing. Question number 30. The atmospheric gas being utilized in the manufacture of food by plant is A. Oxygen B. Nitrogen C. Hydrogen D. Carbon dioxide. The answer is D. Carbon dioxide. Of course, plants manufactured food by the process of photosynthesis. And carbon dioxide is one of the ingredients of photosynthesis. Question number 31. Which of the following organisms causes root knot in tomatoes? A. Virus. B. Fungus. C. Bacterium. D. Nematode. The answer is D. Nematode. Nematode are small worms 
or worm-like organisms that feed on the roots of plants, damaging their roots. Question number 32. Which of the following strategies may be used by a plant breeder to improve crop quality? A. Mutation and cover cropping. B. Selection and hybridization. C. Tissue culture and bench terracing. D. Hybridization and contour cropping. The answer is B. Selection and hybridization. Of course, bench terracing is a soil conservation method. Contour cropping is a soil conservation method as well. Question 33. Which of the following best represents the mode of action of insecticides? 1. Stomach. 2. Sy systemic. 3. Contact. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is B. 1 and 3 only. Of course, the systemic method is not a mode of action of insecticide. It is a mode of action of herbicides. And the third mode of action for insecticide would be fumigants and the fumigants are not our fumigation is not on the list question 34 an advantage of the use of post harvest technology is that it results in a a reduction in loss due to spoilage b physiological breakdown c compositional changes d physical injury the answer is a a reduction in loss due to spoilage of course physiological breakdown compositional changes and physical injury all of those will cause damage or spoilage of crops or produce question 35 which of the following crops is least suited for mechanical harvesting a tomato b lettuce c mango d potato the answer is a tomato tomato is would be the one that will easily damaged Question 36. Which of the following pest control methods can be categorized as cultural? 1. Crop rotation. 2. Field sanitation. 3. Setting, on of, setting of insect traps. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is A. 1 and 2 only. Of course, the setting of insect traps would be a mechanical control method. Question 37. The best time of the day to transplant seedlings is A. Early afternoon. B. Late afternoon. C. Late morning. D. Midday. The answer for me is B. Late afternoon. That's where, uh, based on experience, I got the best result. When the sun is hot, the, the seedlings will lose a lot of water. They will transpire a lot and get dehydrated. Question number 38. Which of the following types of chemicals? can be applied to treat early blight in tomatoes a herbicide b fungicide c insecticide d nematicide the answer is b fungicide of course the early blight is caused by a fungus so in order to treat a fungus you use a fungicide question number 39 the commercial application of ethylene to fruits accelerates the a ripening and even color development B. Growth and development. C. Aging and senescence. D. Ripening and shape. The answer is A. Ripening and even color development. Please note also that ethylene is produced by the plants themselves. So normally plants that ripe, like uh, banana, they contain ethylene in them naturally. However, to speed up the process, the chemical ethylene or factory made ethylene can be added to those produce. Question number 40. The processing of harvested produce does not allow for the A. Improvement in food quality B. Increase in plant population C. Killing of microorganisms D. Increase in shelf life The answer is B. Increase in plant population All the other items, food processing will help to improve those areas. Question number 41. The purpose of the crop in the digestive system of a bird is to a store ingested food b absorb digested food c churn and grind food d secrete digestive enzymes the answer is a store ingested food of course the proventriculus would be mainly to secrete digestive enzymes question number 42 in rabbits most cellulose digestion takes place in the a rectum b cecum c stomach d esophagus the answer is b cecum 
Of course, cellulose digestion means fermentation. So normally when cellulose are broken down, it's broken down by a process of fermentation. And fermentation is, take, is done by or carried out by microbes such as fungus, bacteria, protozoans, etc. Now, that fermentation takes place in the cecum of the rabbit, which is the large intestine of the rabbit. Question 43. The first compartment of the ruminant stomach is called the A. Rumen B. Omasum C. Reticulum B. D. Obomasum The answer is A. Rumen Question number 44. Which of the following organisms is the causative agent of avian influenza? A. Virus B. Protozoan C. Bacterium D. Microplasma The answer is A. Virus Question number 45. Which of the following practices is optional in broiler production but compulsory in layer production? A. Culling B. Brooding C. Debeaking D. Deworming The answer is C. Debeaking Debeaking, why it is very important in the layer or necessary in the layer is, is because with layers you keep them for a longer period of time, up to two years. One and a half year, up to two years. While with broilers, you will keep them six to seven weeks, not very long. So the length of time helps to determine the db in process in this case. Question number 46. Good brooding practices result in 1. Better development of chicks. 2. Faster weight gain. 3. Increased egg production. A. 1 only. B. 1 and 2 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is B. 1 and 2 only. Of course, brooding takes place in the early life of the chickens maybe one to three weeks so the increase in egg production item would not be relevant at that stage question number 47 48 and 49 items 47 to 49 refer to the following information a ram and a yo both heterozygous for the trait having horns are mated 47 what are the chances of a hornless offspring being produced a 25 percent b 50 percent c 75 percent d 100 percent the answer is a 25 percent question number 48 if capital h represents the dominant allele for horns and common h represents the recessive allele the possible genotype of the offspring from the cross is the answer is c Question number 49. Out of the herd of 12 offsprings, how many will most likely be homozygous for the orange trait? A3, B6, C10, D12. The answer is A3. Question number 50. The most common symptoms of coccidiosis is A. Loss of appetite. B. Difficulty breathing. C. Green water feces. D. Diarrhea with streaks of blood. The answer is D diarrhea with streaks of blood the blood is the important symptom the most distinctive symptom in the feces once there is blood in the feces that's the most distinctive symptom question 51 a likely disadvantage of artificial insemination in cows is a less disease transmission b crossbreeding of local stock c less technical skills required d more technical skills required the answer is D. More technical skills required. Question 52. A maintenance ration is one that has the nutrients needed. A. For the animal to increase in weight. B. To allow for some activities to go on. C. To keep the animal in a producing mode. D. To keep the animal alive in its initial condition. D. To keep the animal alive in its initial condition. The answer is D, to keep the animal alive in its initial condition. Question 53. Which of the following is a sign of heat in rabbits? A, excessive noise making. B, acceptance of the book. C, rejection of the book. D, loss of appetite. The answer is B, acceptance of the book. Question 54. Bees are of economic importance to a citrus farmer because they A, test fruits for ripeness. B. Prevent predial arsenic. C. Increase fruit production. D. Biologically control pests. The answer is C. Increase fruit production. As you know that the bees, their main function is to, to carry pollination. Increase in pollination will result in increase in fruit production. 
Question 55. The queen bee in the hive is the female that is A. Sterile B. Fertile C. Smallest D. Sexually immature. The answer is B. Fertile. So remember, the queen's main function is to lay eggs, so she is a fertile female. The workers, they are females, but they are the infertile females. Question number 56. Which of the following best explains how honey is purified after harvesting? A. Eat to 80 degrees Celsius, strain, allow to cool and bottle. B. Eat to 100 degrees Celsius, allow to cool and bottle. C. Strain through a small strainer and bottle. D. Leave to stand for 30 minutes and bottle. The answer is C. Strain through a small strainer and bottle. Question 57. The queen bee in a hive is fed with special food called A. Bee bread, B. Royal jelly, C. Bee wax, D. Honey. The answer is B. Royal jelly. Question 58. Eggshell can be used as a feed supplement for layers because it supplies A. A magnesium, B. Calcium, C. Sulfur, D. Sodium. The answer is B. Calcium. Question number 59. Selecting eggs by weight, size, and shape is known as A. Sorting, B. Grading, C. Candling, D. Preparation. The answer is B. Grading. Question number 60. The live weight of a goat is 50 kg. The dressed carcass weight is 30 kg. What is the dressing percentage? A 30, B 40, C 50, D 60. The answer is D 60. Of course, the formula would be the dressing weight, the dress weight over the live weight times 100. So that would be 30 over 50 times 100. <laughs>